Okay everyone, I verified you can use three different methods to play rematch on your Mac, and now I want to tell you about them. We recommend watching everything even if you know what you want to use, because we'll also add in some useful tips on how to get the best out of every method. But first, we need to get something important out of the way. Due to the anti-cheat system of the game, popular local play alternatives such as Crossover and Whiskey don't work here. In other words, the only way to enjoy this title on your Mac is through cloud gaming. We understand some of you aren't fans of cloud services, but it is what it is. No local play methods we tried thus far allowed us to play this title. On the flip side, each of the cloud services I'll talk about next are valid solutions and gave good results in our tests. This brings me to Boosteroid, the first cloud-based suggestion I've got for you. But is this even worth it, or is it just a laggy mess? From my personal experience with both Rematch and other games I've tried with Boosteroid, the platform works very well, as long as your internet connection isn't total trash. Obviously, there's going to be some minimal delay, as with any cloud service, but it's just not something that had any effect on my time with the game. As for the visual quality of the stream, Boosteroid is actually ahead of the curve here, because it offers both the cheapest and least bandwidth heavy way to stream your games at 4K and 120fps. It's a pretty good package all things considered, so I can honestly recommend it. Using Boosteroid is super simple, just click the link in the description and register. You can even use your Google account, then you'll need to get a paid subscription, but I first recommend checking your internet connection to the closest Boosteroid server. This will give you a good idea of what streaming quality to expect and if this service will work well for you. Decided you want to give it a try? Then go to your profile and click the subscribe button to begin your subscription to Boosteroid. Then simply find the game in the search bar and launch it. Boosteroid is currently the only cloud streaming service that supports the AV1 codec as a feature, which is incredibly useful because it uses up to 50% less bandwidth than older formats. This effectively lowers the internet speed requirements while streaming with Boosteroid through your browser which means that even if you've got a weak connection, you'll still get a smooth stream and crisp image quality, or you can just bring the image quality up if you've got good internet. Most of what we said about Boosteroid applies here too. GeForce Now is an easy, reliable way to play this game on your Mac. The bandwidth demands here are a bit higher, but nothing your regular internet connection can't handle. In my test, there was virtually no difference in the streaming quality between Boosteroid and GFN, both at 1080p and 4K. Choosing between the two will usually boil down to personal preference and what other games you want to play, since not all Boostoid titles are on GFN and vice versa. Setting up GeForce Now is also easy. Follow the link in the description, Click the Join Now button, pick a plan, and begin your subscription. Then get the GFN app from the download section, log in, and first go to its settings. On the right, find the respective game store, click Connect, and enter your logins to link your game store profile to the app. Then return to the game section, search for the game, and launch it. GFN will run a quick internet check after which the game will start. If the connection test warns you of weak internet, you can still start the game, but you should know the streaming quality may not be great. In such cases, I recommend tinkering with the connection settings in the app to lower the bandwidth demands and possibly improve the stream smoothness. Xbox Cloud Gaming is another cloud option I can recommend, but with some caveats. Unlike Boosteroid and other services, xCloud doesn't have a 4K, 120 FPS option, and it tends to have a bit more input lag on average. Also, since you are technically streaming the console version of the game, you'll need a controller. No mouse and keyboard support here. On the plus side, a single subscription will let you play not only Rematch, but also a ton of other titles without needing to own them separately, which is a pretty sweet deal, especially if you haven't yet purchased Rematch. I still personally prefer the previous options because of the superior performance and streaming quality, but xCloud is still definitely a valid solution. To use xCloud, go to the link in the description, choose the ultimate plan on the page that opens, and register. After picking a payment method and starting your subscription, make sure you've got a controller connected to your Mac, then just find the game in the xCloud library and click play. So that's it for today's video. For more content on Mac gaming, be sure to check our channel. Till next time.